when you look at the most advanced technologies, uh, those are primarily coming from Taiwan and to a certain degree, Korea. Later this year, Intel will be rolling out their 18A process in FAT22 in, in Arizona. So we will start seeing some of advanced technology begin to be produced in, in, in America. But today, over 90% of the most advanced technology is coming from Southeast Asia and, and Korea and, and primarily from TSMC. So TSMC today controls about 70% uh, of the total foundry industry, and they're driving and growing twice as fast as all the rest of their competition. Now, over time, what I see happening is that you're seeing uh, both TSMC and Samsung continue to invest not only in their home country, but at the same time, they're diversifying into Japan, into uh, Germany, and also into the US. And last year, TSMC began to produce uh, four nanometer and five nanometer in the U.S. in Arizona. And you can expect that over the coming years, they're going to have a lot more concentration of capacity in North America. And so that that's just the advanced uh, technologies. When you look at some of the mainstream and mature technologies, a lot of those technologies today are, are, are coming either from China or the U.S. in Europe, uh, but mostly in, in Asia Pacific. So companies like UMC, and Global Foundries and SMIC, they are the, the biggest players in, in those spaces. And, and they serve industries like automotive and industrial and consumer electronics.